Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, it is the 14th of October today. It is a Saturday morning and I thought I would just vlog potentially today, potentially tomorrow, just kind of see how I go. Um, yeah, life's... Oh, am I even recording? Yep, sorry, really need to this camera up. <laughs> Life is just... Um, it's going at such a fast pace at the moment and so much is going on and I thought I would just bring you guys along with what's going on. To be honest, a lot of the stuff that is going on, I'm like doing inside my room, like agency calls and brand deals and stuff like that. Like it's actually just in my little teeny tiny uni room. Um, but yeah, I haven't vlogged in a long time. I feel like I've got a lot to update you guys on, um, especially if you don't follow my second TikTok. You probably have no idea where I'm living, what I'm doing, how my life has changed. So maybe we'll just sit down and I'll update you guys before we get started. I think that's probably a good plan. So, where to start? Where to start? So, I now live in London, everyone. Oh, should I put the mic thing on? So, I now live in London. I moved to London for uni. I'm at uni in London <laughs> doing nutrition, you guys know, I think. The majority of you know, like, from my TikTok and stuff, that nutrition is what I know quite a lot about like that's why I do the whole like skin healing kind of vibe also I feel like you're very close to me so that's what I'm doing at the moment I moved away from home home is about two and a half three hours away tomorrow it will be a month since I moved here um so yeah should we just do my skincare now let's just do my skincare now what have we got to lose um this is my little this is my little makeup bag well, skincare bag. Skincare and makeup bag. Um, and to be honest, at the moment, I've not really been doing that much skincare, which is really unlike me. Like, I've not really been putting on moisturiser, just kind of giving my skin a break. And I know, like, you need moisturiser for, like, your skin barrier and stuff. But I just felt like, I don't know, my skin just, like, needed a complete break from everything. Um... So I've, yeah, I've just been kind of listening to it. And if I'm putting on moisturiser, I'm putting on like really super thin layers. Um, just to kind of let it do its thing and kind of find balance again um, in my skin. Loads of my skincare is literally just in the bathroom. Do I have my water cream in here? I don't think so. Let me just go get some of my skincare. The moisturiser I just put on my forehead was the beta panthenol but i've just realized that i want to use this serum so just ignore that i did that bit in the wrong order this is the edelweiss edelweiss it's from the body shop um it's a daily serum enriched with leo <laughs> leontopodic acid and peptides and we all know peptides are really good oh, it smells lovely um, we know that peptides are very, very good for our skin. I literally learned about peptides from Hailey Bieber. I'm going to just put some on my chest too. And then, yeah, so because I'm going out, I'm going to show you, like, me getting ready and my outfit and stuff like that. I've got some new, like, boots, which, you know when you buy new shoes and then you realise you've actually got nothing to wear those new shoes with and then you end up buying new trousers and then you've got no tops to go with those trousers and then you buy new tops and then you go like, oh, I've not got a jacket to go with this and buy a new jacket. Yeah, that's kind of what's happening to me at the moment. So I'm going to try and style these boots today, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, which is going to mean I need to buy a new outfit, which I don't mind. I'm not, com I'm not complaining at all, to be honest. Um my bank is though my bank's like babes um you're already at your credit limit like what are you doing um and then i'm going to use the oh then i'm going to use the userin spf 50 i'm currently doing an ad for userin um and i won't put that in if that ad's not gone up yet <laughs> um remember to use all three don't forget the neck also guys if you see my skin like going smooth in this video yeah, this is all my texture but um sometimes the camera goes into like a blurring mode i don't think it's in it right now yeah maybe it is in it now i don't know but if my skin looks blurred just know it's definitely not my skin don't look like that i just don't know how to change the modes on this camera and then i'm going to use some of the oh my hands are <laughs> slippy now 
I'm going to use some of the Got To Be Glued Spiking Gel on my eyebrows because I'm enjoying the kind of laminated look at the moment. I feel like I just should get my brows laminated because like it's so, it takes so much effort to make your brows flat, especially when I have naturally like curly hair. Oh guys, do you like my little bows in my hair? I think they're really cute. But also I'm thinking, are they just giving like creepy child? Like you know when people like dress up for Halloween and they like put like the little bows in their hair so they look like a creepy child, like the dolls. But it doesn't really matter, does it? Because we're in October, so I could just be dressing up for Halloween. <laughs> also, um, we're like halfway through semester one, which is crazy to me, because I like literally have no idea what I'm doing at uni. But because of that, we've got a reading week. So it's Saturday today, and on a week Wednesday, I'm going home. So this week's my last week at uni, but I'm staying in London because I've got those two brand events coming up. Um, and I don't want to miss them. So I'm, yeah, I'm staying until the Wednesday and then I'm going home and it's my dog's birthday on the Sunday and I'll come back on the Sunday night, um, which is kind of crazy. I really don't know how I feel about going home. I'd like, I very much have always struggled to make friends at home until I came here. So like going home, it's like I've not really got, I just don't really feel like I've got anyone to see, which is like a little bit sad, but then also maybe that's a good thing because then I just like spend time with my family and kind of recharge before coming back. And maybe that will mean that I actually do some kind of work, but I very much doubt it. It's just cause like I, I, whenever I could be doing uni work, I could also be doing work that's making me money. So it's like, why would I want to do this uni work? Like that I'm paying for, do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. I'm in such a weird mood today. Um, I'm just gonna put my skincare on. Anyway, yeah, let's put on an outfit. I think I know what I wanna wear, but I'm gonna show you my boots and then you're gonna probably think, oh, what the hell are those? How is she gonna style that? And I don't know either, to be honest, guys. These are the boots. A lovely, like, dark red colour. My nails actually match them, but on camera, my nails look so bright red but they're really not um but yeah i thought the only thing that i've got in my wardrobe that might go is blue jeans but i don't even think these are gonna go but at this point i'm not really that bothered i just kind of want to get out of here i'm a celebrity get me out of here but yeah i'll show you my outfit when i'm ready to go if the boots look weird can we just ignore them thank you see you in a bit hey guys so this <clears throat> I can't even see the outfit. So I've got this knit on from H&M and then I've got these new look jeans on and then I don't know if these even go, to be honest. Oh, literally, what am I doing? I don't even know if these shoes go, to be honest, but at this point I'm just getting a bit frustrated that I can't style them so I just thought, yeah, I might just look silly for one day. I don't think it looks that bad. My nails match them and this cute bag matches, like, is it really the end of the world? No, I don't think anyone is bothered about what I'm wearing. And I'm going to head out the door. I think I maybe, I don't even know what I'm going to do, but I feel very weird if I just stay in my flat again today because I, when I say I literally didn't leave my flat yesterday, I literally didn't leave my flat. I feel like this vlog has been a lot of nothing, but I am going to take my camera out with me and show you a little bit of what I do. I think I'm just going to go to Notting Hill today. So I'm just gonna see how long it takes me to get there because I've not been to Notting Hill yet and I know it's a lovely area. It's something to do. Notting Hill. How long is this gonna take me? 39 minutes, that's not bad actually. I've only got one change. Lovely, okay. Let's go to Notting Hill and have a great day. Oh. Literally as I was walking out the door, I invited my friend Brima to come with me and I'm just waiting for her. She said she'll be like five minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm going with someone. So I probably won't be talking to the camera much. <laughs> I'll probably just show you like little clips of what we're up to. But yeah, I'm going to Notting Hill. I know that she wanted to go there for a while. So I just thought, why am not inviting her? Um, but yeah, skip to the clips. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me, sis. Excuse me, sis. 
Like, why am I here? Oh. They go everywhere though. Not true. And they're so hard to like. Yes. Yeah, so you have to like tap them all out. Oh, this is so exciting. I love what are those called? Dates. I love dates. Them. Yeah. Especially, especially the medjool dates. Yeah. The they're best. different ones. Yeah. Like, look, mom, sending you flowers. Literally. We can. It's really nice in there. It's very cute. They play like oh. sake, sushi, yeah. sabata. Girl, we can't go for sushi again. Mm -hmm. We're in a fake Whole Foods. <laughs> what have they got? <laughs> what have they got? Oh, they've got green tea. <laughs> Look at these fucking teas they've got. <laughs> Why did you pronounce that? Oxlam Village. Mmm. <laughs> Tasty food. Oh, Well, it wasn't a weekend, was it, girl? I think it was. Like, I was picking stuff and then being like, oh, can I? Hey guys, I'm back now. Ignore the fact that my face is wet. Um, it's currently air drying. I've just washed all of my makeup off. All of mine. I don't really have any on, to be honest. Um, I just had my other half of my Attis bowl. She's empty now. Um, it was huge. Um, so I had it for lunch and for dinner, although I definitely am gonna have porridge before I go to sleep because porridge is an addiction. It's actually an addiction, like I've actually got some kind of issue. But I'm just about to tidy up all of this, make it all nice, get some comfy clothes on, and then I'll come back to you. But yeah, I had a lovely day. We went to Notting Hill, we wandered around, I went to get Pokeballs, well I got one, uh, Rima got a juice, um, did a lot of walking, my heels did give me blisters, which wasn't the biggest slay, saw the Paddington like antique, you know where like there's the book that's stolen from the antique store, that's where that place was that I showed you guys, um, but yeah, all in all, a lovely day, um, so yeah, I'll talk to you in a minute, bye. Hey queenies, I've um, just put my glasses on but I'll turn them off so you can see me properly. I'm just about to have my mango greens, if I can find, there they are. Um, I've just put on this geese and gown to top, some H&M joggers, you know how it is. I don't have a spoon so we're going to eyeball it. Oh god, I smelled at that and thought, is that mango greens? Oh, that's probably a lot. But, um... This cup matches my outfit. <laughs> oh yeah guys, um, even though nobody watches this, I do have a discount code for FS or Free Soul, which is Life With Mills, if you ever wanna purchase anything because we are all hormone healthy girlies. I think it gets you 15% off. Mm. That is what I needed. I can't believe I didn't have it this morning. No, I didn't. I didn't have it this morning. I'm crazy today. I'm losing my mind. So I feel weird that I've got red on. Actually, that's red, I guess. Oh, God. It's been a very long day. I'm actually very tired, but I've still got a lot of stuff to do. Um, a lot of work bits, a lot of admin, a lot of schoolwork. Still haven't done any schoolwork. Like, this whole time, it's been on my list. Like, this whole weekend because I don't have uni on a Friday, so I didn't have uni yesterday. So, I just can't bring myself to do it. I can't bring myself to do it. Oh, but it's been a good day. I felt like this morning I woke up, had no plans, was thinking I want to stay in all day. And I've been to Notting Hill. Had a lovely time, eating out. And now I'm home. So look how sad my sunflowers look. They're like, please help me, please. But yeah, oh, I do have a parcel to collect, actually. Um, so when the reception reopens, I will film me unboxing that. It could just be my vitamins that I ordered the other day. Like, it could easily just be my vitamins. Um, it probably is my vitamins, but I, I'll unbox it with you anyway. People might want to know what multivitamin I'm taking. Hey, guys. I'm getting a bit emotional. <laughs> so I thought it would probably be best to just get it out in the open, whatever. I have been extremely overwhelmed. As you can probably tell by the tone of this video, like I just have, I've got a lot going on. 
and I was just on FaceTime with my mum and was just like, I don't even know where to start. Like there's uni work, there's emails to be answered, there's brown work to be done, there's social media posts to be done. I, I need to do stuff with my room, I need to do the washing, I need to tidy my room. Like there is so many things in my brain right now. I'm doing an ebook. Like there's so many things going on and I like just don't know what to prioritize. I was getting really stressed on FaceTime with my mum, obviously, completely valid. And she was like, okay, I'm gonna leave you just like do an hour like of anything, just like try and tick something off your list. And I go on my Instagram requests and like the first two messages I opened just like really made my day. Like there was a message from a mum, like he was saying like she's got a son with acne and like she's trying to help him and like she's really grateful. And there was another one that was a girl that said she walked past me in Notting Hill and um she was like I'm literally drinking a peppermint tea right now like and it's just it's stuff like that that picks me up picks me up when like I'm having a a sec being like oh god like this is so like stressful it's like this is the, that's why I do it and I thought I would just remind you guys to look out for the signs of the fact that you're on the right path like I was so stressed literally so stressed and a second later I saw something and I was like yeah like this, this is why I'm this is why I'm doing it. I'm oh, sorry, I'm literally like talking absolute gibberish right now. But yeah, I'm just um about to do some like uni work, but I just thought I would get that out of my brain <laughs> before I do this. Um but yeah. I just got my parcel and it was just my multivitamins, but I know that this one came with like a freebie. Um because I reordered it so many times. Like I'm on a subscription, so I've got loads of points. Um, and I think they were like immunity things. And I've not really been getting much sleep. So, yeah, so I normally get the feel multivitamin ones, which have got loads of good stuff in. Um, they've got like turmeric in as well for like inflammation. And then these feel, what are they? Vitamin C, vitamin D, garlic extract. Interesting, because I have that for my skin. Um, olive leaf, selenium, mushroom. Oh, and it's got, it's got like probiotics in it. Okay, I think I'm gonna take these. I'm assuming the dose is two, but I might just take one. <laughs> but yeah, with like feel, when you do a subscription, you get like, um, points and then you just end up getting stuff for free even though like it's just like a subscription so I have a multivitamin every day so um it's worth looking into these capsules are huge how do I show you this these are huge but yeah that's my partial <laughs> I've just been editing this vlog and it definitely needs to be a little bit longer so I thought I would just show you kind of my night routine. I know loads of you wanted to see this anyway, like the supplements I take to go to sleep, the herbal teas I have. Um, I've already done my skincare, I did that ages ago but I thought I could just show you the rest of the stuff um, just in case anyone's interested because I find that my night routine is what keeps me relaxed especially when like I'm having a bit of an overwhelming time. Ooh. Um, I'm just about to go to bed, even though everyone's really loud in the kitchen, so I'm going to have to wear noise cancelling headphones to bed. Um, but yeah, to go to sleep, I take magnesium. I'm just going to get it and show you. I take the Nutri Advanced Mega Mag, Mega Mag Calmies. Looks like this. Um, and I am running out of this, and like all of my subscriptions get sent to home. So um, I need to change that because I need them to come here because I'm having to like not use the whole dose so I can last. It's like I'm using like half a scoop. And then you just add this to water. So I've only got a little bit of water. And honestly, magnesium has been a game changer for my sleep. I am someone that used to wake up probably five or six times a night. Not necessarily like not being able to get back to sleep, but just like like disrupted disrupted interrupted sleep and this has been amazing so yeah that's all gone and then and then and i don't know if i said but these glasses that i wear i don't wear them one on one camera because that is so annoying 
um, but they're blue light glasses so I wear them at least for like half an hour before I go to bed just because blue light obviously stops you from being able to get to sleep so sometimes I'm not the best at putting them on like a while before but I try to kind of block out as much blue light in the day as possible just because it's better for your like nervous system and I'm someone that like gets dysregulated and quite anxious like very often so I just I try to look after my nervous system as much as possible to be honest um and I normally have a dandelion tea but I'm just I don't I don't want one <laughs> I don't want one so I'm not gonna have one I had a herbal tea this morning I had a turmeric and ginger tea I feel like today I have slacked a little bit <laughs> with like my supplements because I didn't even have a turmeric and ginger shot today I didn't even have my gut health shot didn't have my celery juice but I feel like I don't know what needs to happen for me to get kind of back into the groove of getting stuff done but I, I, f I just feel really really stuck at the moment I feel really behind on everything um I mean maybe I just I feel like I need some like encouragement like sometimes there's only so much you can tell yourself but like hearing it from other people like is really important and my family's like really supportive like that but like obviously not having them here at uni with me every day it's just quite um it's been a little bit mentally challenging in terms of like work for sure but it's okay also i would love to make some friends that are also in like the social media industry because when I'm talking to like people about like what I don't want to do about management or what I don't want to do about stuff like yeah like my friends give great advice but you have to explain what everything is first whereas I feel like if I had someone that was like doing social media that was a friend like I just feel like they'd get it like, and we'd click over that so maybe I just need to like message a girl or something that I follow and be like oh my god do you ever want to meet up <laughs> but then I don't know like I just don't I hate rejection but rejection is redirection anyway yeah I'm gonna go to sleep now I am just gonna say goodbye just in case I forget to carry on with this vlog tomorrow because who knows what tomorrow will bring um but yeah I love you all very much um thank you for supporting me and being kind always and I will see you in my next vlog which will be very soon um let me know what kind of videos you guys want when I go home I could do some recipe things for you but that is probably not going to be the most common occurrence just because obviously I'm living in a shared flat with people in a shared kitchen. But yeah let me know what vlogs you want me to see maybe like if you want me to vlog going somewhere specific in London or anything like that. Also I know I'm very close to the camera but I'm very much enjoying the fact that you can see all the texture of my skin. Like I actually feel like pores and stuff like that are really pretty. Hey guys, it is like two days later now, but I've just realised I didn't really round off this vlog. Um, so yeah, I hope you've had a lovely day. Thank you so much for staying if you're still here. Remember to give it a little, a little thumbs up if you enjoyed. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video, which is going to be soon because I'm getting, I'm getting back into this. Okay, love you. Bye.